All right, guys, welcome back. So today's topic is this, why use Revit in interior design, okay? We're gonna dive into that topic today and we're gonna just do a little crash course to see why you might wanna use it in your business. All right, without further ado, I will see you inside. All right, guys, so like I said in the intro, what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be walking you through basically a little crash course on Revit and why it's used in interior design, why it could be working in your business. So if you come out the other side, you know, you have the possibility of really making the decision of whether you want to use Revit for your business or not. Oh, before we get started, um, if you do find at any point that you want to go further with Revit, we have a free Revit launch class. Uh, over at the designcure.com, go check it out. And that's gonna get you up and running with Revit specifically for interior design. Okay, I'll see you inside. Hi, welcome to Revit. Today we're going to be taking an introductory look at the software. And I wanna start off by addressing the question, what can Revit do for interior designers? I'm sure you've all heard of this software as a powerful tool used by architects and engineers, but I'd like to argue that it can be just as useful for interior designers. And when you know how to use it, it can make your life so much easier. The main benefit of Revit is that it's used to localize your files. From one model, you can extract all sorts of drawings, floor plans, door schedules, renderings, and everything in between. It also speeds up the process of any design changes that happen to your project. By modeling your space in 3D rather than doing a series of 2D drawings, you can quickly gather a multitude of information true to one model. This means that as you change aspects of your 3D model, your floor plans, sections, interior elevations, and everything else update accordingly, reducing the redundancy of making small changes in, say, 10 different drawings. It also offers a vast existing library of building modeling components. We'll be going over that in future chapters, as well as how to add to that library by creating your own components. It allows you to extract data from your model through room areas, material palettes, and cost estimates that are generated immediately. You can also coordinate between other disciplines, and then there are endless possibilities with add-ons. Really, Revit can get as complex as you want or need it to be. We won't be diving into all of its complexities, but hopefully these videos become a guide in how to navigate Revit and use it for your own specific needs. So maybe you already have a Revit license, but I just wanna quickly go through the options for purchasing. First there's Revit, then Revit Architecture, Revit Structure, and Revit MEP fall under that category. So Revit alone will be more expensive since it includes all the other branches, but you can also purchase Revit architecture separately than Revit structure and Revit MEP. I'll be using Revit 2018, which means that all the files included in this course are also 2018. While they can't be saved to previous versions, they can always be upgraded for future versions. So before we really dive into Revit, which we'll start in the next video, I want to quickly go over opening a new project. This way you can start playing around in the software and start to familiarize yourself with the layout before we go into the core functions of Revit. So there you have it, a very broad introduction to the software where we talked about the benefits of Revit, specifically for interior designers, as well as the difference between Revit and Revit architecture. So congrats on starting Revit, and I'll see you in the next lesson. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining us for another tutorial. Look, if you're ready to go further with, Re with Revit, we have a free Revit launch course ready to go right now. You can start today. Okay. You can go download the free trial of Revit from their website. So either way, whether you want to pursue Revit or not, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you taking the time and I'll see you in the next tutorial.